you for being here. Thank you for, to you and your team for helping to save the economy during the pandemic meltdown. Um, for what it's worth, I'm generally supportive of the actions of the Fed right now, and I, I'm not going to ask you today, today to blame anybody. Um, when Congress spends money, it stimulates the economy, does it not? Well, it, it would depend on whether that's funded by tax increases or not. But so, if there's a spending that's that's not accompanied by taxes, would have a net at the margin stimulative effect. Well, and when Congress borrows money to spend even more, that stimulates the economy even more, does it not? At the margin, yeah. Okay. If Congress reduced the rate of growth in its spending and reduced the rate of growth in its debt accumulation, it, it would make your job easier in reducing inflation, would it not? It, I don't think fiscal policy right now is a big factor driving inflation at this moment, uh, but it's absolutely essential that we do uh, slow the pace of growth, particularly for the areas of the budget. All right, let's try growing. to unpack this then. <clears throat> I'm not trying to trick you. You're raising interest rates. You're raising interest rates to slow the economy, are you not? Yes, to cool the economy off. Um, and one of the ways you measure your success, other than fluctuation in gross domestic product, is the unemployment rate. Is it not? Yes, one of the measures. Okay. So in effect, this, I'm not being critical. When you're slowing the economy, you're trying to put people out of work. That's your job, is it not? Not really. We're trying to we're trying to restore price stability. No, um, you're trying you're trying to raise not, not the wages. you're trying to raise the unemployment rate. There are and, a lot, so there are a lot mean, of that mean I know you don't like the phrase, so let me strike it. You're trying to raise the unemployment rate, are you not? No, we're not trying to raise it. We're trying to realign supply and demand, which could happen through a bunch of channels. Like for example, uh, you know, just job openings. All job right, let openings. Me, let could, me put it another way, okay? The economists did a, did a wonderful study. They looked at, at, at 10 disinflationary periods in America going all the way back to the 1950s. Disinflation is what you're trying to do. It's a slowing in the rate of inflation. Am I right? Yes. In other words, prices don't go down. They just don't go up as fast. Deflation is when prices actually go down. You're trying to achieve disinflation, are you not? Yes, we are. Okay. Based on history, in the 10 times that we got inflation down, disinflation since the 1950s, in order to reduce inflation by 2%, unemployment had to go up 3.6%. Now, that's history, is it not? I don't have the numbers in front of me, but yes, the standard has been that there have been recessions and downturns when okay. the Fed has tried to reduce inflation. Now, right now, the, the current inflation rate is 6.4%, and the current unemployment rate is 3.4%. Now, if history is right, I'm not asking you to, 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 again, blame anybody, but if history is right, unless you get some help in order to get inflation down from 6.4%, to let's say 4.4 percent, and the unemployment rate is going to have to rise to 7 percent based on history. That's what the record would say. Okay, and to get inflation down to 2.2 percent, based on history, an immutable fact, unemployment would have to go to 10.6 percent. Would it not? No, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. That's uh, what the record. Show, that's what the history shows. Yeah. I, I don't think that kind of a number is, is at all in play I mean, here. I, I know you're reluctant to admit it, and you don't want to get in the middle of a policy uh, dispute. But I think it's undeniable. It's undeniable that the only way we're going to get this sticky inflation down is to attack it on the monetary side, which you're doing, and on the fiscal side, which means Congress has got to reduce the rate of growth of spending and reduce, reduce the rate of growth of, of debt accumulation. Now, 
I get that you don't want to get in the middle of that fight. But the more we help on the fiscal side, the fewer people you're going to have to put out of work. Isn't that a fact? Please answer. It could work out that way. Okay. Sir? It uh, could work out that way. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Kennedy. Senator Reed of Rhode Island is recognized. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman.